I was given some power the other day. It's really yummy. I've eaten half of it already raw, but um, in the comments and messages I've got, some people have asked me to cook some, so I will. Since I'm going to cook this power, I'll cook it the way I like it the most cooked, and that's uh, sort of cream style, and I'll start melting down 100 grams of butter. And while the butter's melting, I've diced up one onion and about three cloves of garlic. And we put them in the pan in the butter and pan fry that for a couple of minutes till they've sort of softened. I've got about 200 grams of mince power here. It was 250, but um, already it's down to 200, so I better cook it soon before there's bugger all left. So I add the power, and apart from one more teaspoonful, it all made it into the pan. And I'm also adding about a quarter of a cup of water as well. And I'm going to leave that on a slow simmer for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes or so. While that's simmering away, I think I'll prep up um, a small salad to go with it. With the salad, I'm going to try and aim for a crispy one rather than a wet one, so no sort of avocados and tomatoes in it. But I'll start with a base of uh, crease cut up. So I've got some Prussian blue peas and lentils here and snow pea sprouts, some spring onions, mung beads and some alfalfa. Lucky we've been shopping, but but they should have the crunchy, crispy texture that I'm wanting from the salad. I've also got some snow peas here which I'm going to blanch. So I've got some ice water ready for blanching these peas and some handy towels for drying them. And I've got some water boiling to put the peas in. So I put the peas in the boiling water and I'm leaving in there for about a minute and 20 seconds. Get into the ice water to cool down for a little bit. Now they look nice and vibrant and I'm sure they're going to be tasty. So I'll just chop them up like so. Now I'll add them to the salad as well. And just because I have some and I think that's going to add a nice taste to the salad, I've also got some smoked roe here which I'm going to put in there. Instead of using the roe, I was thinking of using nashi pear or apple to give it a sweet crunch, but um, I really think this roe will give it a yummy flavour that I'm going to like anyway. So we season with rock salt and cracked pepper and then give it a bit of a mix up and we can put that aside and get back to the cream power again. I left this simmering for about 35-40 minutes and I'm adding cream to taste, probably about 300 mils. And then leave that on a low heat for about 15 minutes for the cream to reduce. So the cream's been reducing with the power for about 15 minutes almost now. And here's uh, 2 teaspoons of corn flour and a quarter of cup of, a quarter of, cup of water, which I've just mixed in with the corn flour. And we'll now add to the power. So I've stirred in the uh, corn flour and water and I'm going to let that simmer here with the power for about two minutes. That should be enough. Mm, so I've tasted that and god damn it's yummy. I'm not sure if it's as good as it is raw but it's pretty tasty. I'd probably stab someone for the last bowl. Like most stewy things um, it's probably not going to be the prettiest to plate. But I think I've got some power shells somewhere and maybe that'll make it look pretty. So the presentation's quite nice with those shells. So here we have cream power and a snap pea, smoke row and sprout salad. Yum yum.